tell. We got a real guy over here. At the end of the day, he's just showing up to the boat ramp. Guy's sporting a three-blade prop. Looks like it's been through the sand a hundred times. He's got a decent stain on his boat. I'd say he's a real guy. <clears throat> this is something that you guys really take lightly. This is serious. I mean, you can come down basically anytime and get what I call water time in. It's Sunday afternoon, I'm not fishing right now. I come down to the ramp, just being at the boat ramp, I can get in some decent water time. The first thing it tells me today is that you don't want to come to the ramp at 3 o'clock on a Sunday. Yeah, seems simple, seems stupid, but that's real stuff. You don't want to come to the ramp at 3 o'clock on Sunday. That's personal watercraft. That's personal watercraft time, 3 o'clock on Sunday. But there are some things you can find out. I'm gonna find out if there's any sheep's head around, any mullets swimming around, water temperature, tide, things that I can see on a daily basis, putting in just a little bit of water time. I get more excuses. I get more excuses on water time. I don't have a boat. I don't know any spots. I can't get bait. Dude, you come down here, what do you see? Crazy low tide. If I didn't come down to the ramp today, I wouldn't realize how crazy low tide it is. Some decent bait jumping around, so there's a little bit of bait in the water. It's the first week of March, and it's 3 o'clock, and it's Sunday, and I'm getting just a little bit of water time. Don't think that you can't pull up to a bridge. Or boat ramp beach, anything. You look out at the water and you take a good look and you'll learn something every time. There's no excuse for you nerds not to be getting in some serious water time. Fundamentals, basics. Things are going to make you a better fisherman. That guy's sporting the piss out of his original Glastron. He ain't the first. <laughs> I've been getting water time at this boat ramp for 35 consecutive years, dude. I come down here on my BMX bike. I came down here on my skateboard. I came down here on my Beach cruiser, I come down here in my first car, which is a Toyota Corolla. I've been getting water time at this spot my whole life. Do you guys understand that? Do you understand how fundamentally pure getting water time is? If you come down here and you see what's going on, you realize, dude, there's a real guy going in the water right now. You wouldn't know that sitting home looking at the TV, ESPN. Dude, I just left. ESPN on a Saturday afternoon or Sunday afternoon or whatever it was and they're talking about bullying. Get off the couch. Get you some water time in. Personal watercraft. I really hope this is a lot like rollerblading. It's not like I'm against the paddle boarders or anything. It's a little ridiculous. They're playing in the boat ramp. It's all slimy bacteria. They got bubblers out there to make sure the bacteria don't grow. And these people are out here just paddle boarding right in that stuff. I got nothing against paddle boards. I'm just, like I said, I just hope it's like rollerblades where, you know, 10 years from now, I don't have to worry about getting run over by no rollerblader or no paddle board. I don't know, everybody seems to be doing the paddle board thing. It's hard. You gotta paddle, you gotta carry that thing around. You gotta find a decent place to put it in. It's not for me. I got enough things that I consider work than doing paddleboard stuff. So here we are. Still Sunday afternoon. Getting a little bit more water time in. It's what you do. You get in the truck, you ride around, you check spots. I mean, there's a lot of things. 
that you can do to help yourself for crying out loud. Water time's one of them. There's no excuse. You get out there, you check some spots, you look at some things. Dude, even the boat ramp. Come on already, do a little bit of water time. Help yourself. Maybe you catch a big fish and you can pat yourself on the back, feel good about things. What did they say? A body in motion stays in motion. These guys are getting some decent family fishing in. I knew a guy that sat on this seawall for four days. For four days. He sat right here and he looked at the water and he fished. His wife wanted to know where he was. People were calling him, beeping him, emailing him, tweeting him. He was on this seawall for four days. Freaking hot chicks fishing. You gotta love that. The only people don't see that up north in Yankee land. That's why y'all come down here during the winter. No snow. And there's always like a hot chick fishing or something. It's water time, dude. It's all about water time. You guys see anything down here? Crab? Yeah. What'd you do with him? Yeah. Oh, you should have put that thing on for bait. <laughs> Not kidding. That's what they eat in here, crab. Yeah, they don't like the squid too much. What are you fishing with, squid? Yeah. What are you trying to catch? Whatever. Anything? Yeah. Or I'm just letting it sit for the most part. I'm more of a freshwater fisherman. I don't even know what I'm doing. Yeah, that's all right. You know what I'm doing? I'm getting water time right now. I come down here, I take a look at everything. See what the boat traffic's like, see what the tide's like, see if there's any fish rolling around. It's a little different than what you're doing, but not that much different. Yeah. You seen any big fish? No. So you take it and you chunk it up there where it's a slope so it doesn't get caught on the bottom and take a dead crab and let it just sit there and a tarpon will come and eat it. That's my YouTube producer. Oh, really? And we're talking about getting in water time and I seen you guys getting in water time, so that's why kind of checking things out. Maybe I need to watch that. Learn some things. Huh? Maybe I need to watch that. Learn some things. Runthatdog.com. What is it? Runthatdog.com. It has all the videos. Yeah. You could take that and leave it on the bottom. They might eat it. You guys have a good weekend. You too. Man, you got the Mac Daddy tackle box and everything. That's what I'm talking about. These guys are out here on Sunday. Yeah, they could be home watching sports bullying on ESPN, but no, they're out here. They're doing real guy stuff. They don't even know they're doing it, but they're out here on the river, dead squid, bobbers, throwing back crabs. It's all about getting water time. These people are getting water time. I'm getting a little bit of water time. There's no excuse for you not to get any. The more water time you get, the better off you're gonna be in any form or fashion. And I know what's going through your minds right now. And the answer is yes. You can watch Captain Jeff videos and get water time. I got over 200 and something videos up. Watch them. It'll help you. It's called water time. Every little chance you get, you watch. You watch the water. You see what's going on. You see what other people are doing. You get in your truck. You get off the couch. Get out of the front of the TV and get more water time for crying out loud. Thanks for tuning in to Captain Jeff. The number one fishing show online. Run that dog. Runthatdog.com.